right, we're checking out the only game where the longer the cars I have to test are, the further away I get from my sanity, it's GTA. Which long car can drive on the bendiest wall ride? Is that a word? <laughs> okay, so I've been given a few different vehicles here. All of these look absolutely terrible to take on a wall ride. That's great. I mean, if you're gonna start it, you might as well start it off stupid. Excuse me, everyone. Official Wiener Club business. Uh, oh. Oh, I've been given a, uh, like a numerical amount for each bend, I assume. So we're starting with a five degree bend. Ah, yes. The five degrees of Greystoke plays sadness. Generally, the degrees begin with a wall ride. <laughs> All right, wind it up, do a little bit of curb boosting, get on the on-ramp, and here we go! I... huh. I can't believe this thing can wall ride at all. Oh, it just barely made the jump. Just keep going, because if we slow down, we're screwed, and I guess I'm screwed anyway. What did I hit? All right, I want to try this one more time. I get the sneaking suspicion that the length of this vehicle is probably going to get caught on the bendiness. So the wall ride is so bendy. Oh my God, we're just two wheeling it. Well, technically it's four wheeling it. It's just all four wheels are on one side. Sorry, cactus. I can get to this eighth degree or eight degree bend and then the car just fails. It can't hug the wall anymore at all. The bend is stronger than the length of the car. The wiener club did not know how to bend appropriately. I guess that means it's time to try a new vehicle. Oh, yeah! I got ejected out of the car. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, let's try the Phantom. This is exciting because this is a whole host of cars that I don't think I've ever wall rided with. At least not on purpose. <laughs> it's totally possible that at some point in my vast experience of getting tortured by GTA, this may have happened, but I don't remember. I think I've just pushed it out of my brain. Wow. It can do the eight degree wall ride. Okay, so now we're on a 10 degree wall ride. All right. Problem here is the run up isn't very long. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get enough speed to even do the wall ride. Fortunately, it's so bendy now. It's not very long. Hey, <laughs> oh my God. 12 degrees. Just go for it. Gray, white. Oh, that was six to landing. That was sad. Made it to 12 degrees though so far. Oh yeah. Oh, we're rocking it now. I would have never thought that one of the 18 wheel trucks would be one of the best wall riders out of all of these. Now the problem is this though, it, the back end keeps coming out on that upward spiral. To be fair, that's a tough wall ride because you're going upwards and you're wall riding. God, this looks like a terrible idea. Now fortunately it does have like a boost and some speed. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, that was probably the best jump we've had, too. The suspension on this thing makes me want to die inside. But you can see... It's funny, too, because you can see the... Oh, my God! Ah! You can see the suspension getting a workout whenever it does the wall ride. Do you plan on putting the challenges over a train track all the time on purpose, or does it just happen that way? All right, 10 degree bend. Around the wall, no big deal, nice jump. I'm gonna go flying off the edge, ow, ow, oh, hey. Who was opening up the back door? Man, I get stuck on the 12 degrees. I can get to the 10 degree bend pretty much every time, but I do have an issue flying off of this wall. All right, I gotta aim this up. We're gonna come off of this at a little, there we go. Just release. <laughs> Release the acceleration. Oh my God, are you kidding me? How many times does it take? That's gotta be good, finally. Now again, can it do 12 degrees? I get the feeling I've made it all this way and accepted, yeah, all this anguish and there's absolutely no chance. I wanted to give this one more shot just to be absolutely sure. Okay, the bumper flew off. Yeah, it just gets stuck. We're going all pink limo for this one. Tell me, car salesman, how does she drive on wall rides? Ah, uh, she feels really slow on wall rides. Oddly, though, it definitely sticks to the wall. This is wild, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is happening. This is ha Hold on. Hold on. I feel really good about this. 10 degree foot bend. No problem, straight as an arrow, sticks to landing, just roll it. Just roll it on the 10, on the 12 degrees. <laughs> Numbers are hard. Right up with my son, 
right up our, oh my god, there's another one. What is this, 14? 14 degree bend! Stick it! Oh, please don't fall, whatever you do. I don't know if this is the last one because I've never gotten this one. Oh my god, I think it is the last one! Oh! 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 Oh, wow! Well, chalk went up for the pink limo. I would not have guessed that, but whatever. But that means that we have a checkpoint! Alex has teamed up with Petey yet again to create a sequence of challenges, each one worse than the last, except now, any time I crash, the vehicle will transform into a larger one. I get hit, the script triggers, and suddenly I'm in a completely different vehicle that's much larger than the last one. But as usual, the question is, can I make it to the end and complete the challenges before I go insane? Anyway, let's do this. Welcome to this insanity. Car number 69, of course it is. There's times when I load into a board and I immediately wish I wasn't here. So I have to make it through this without getting hit, huh? <laughs> yeah, good luck! <laughs> do any of the balls make sense? I was gonna say, do any of the balls make sense? The answer is no. All right, so we're... So what's my time limit from transferring? Well, it's somewhere less than five seconds about. Well, it's greater than about two seconds. I'm gonna be moving through all of the vehicles very quickly, aren't I? Got like an old school version of the Batmobile over here. This is awesome. So this reminds me a lot of Turbo Dismount and all of the traffic that you had to go through, except now it's soccer balls. Man, this car just has terrible off the line acceleration too. I mean, all right, here we go. <laughs> Is there stop sticks there? Top on this car is red. That means it's fast. So as the cars get, ooh, there we go. So there are slowdown sticks all the time. Oh God, I hate you so much. I get a gun here. This is, look at how fast the, the soccer balls are eventually going. You know what? As long as I can survive this, it really doesn't matter, right? Like as long as I can make it to the end, the soccer balls don't really do that much damage. So I should be fine. In fact, if I have a vehicle that's almost dead, I can get hit on purpose and that will regenerate my vehicle now. And that'll regenerate the vehicle. So real quick, um, Alex, I don't know if you know, but uh, there's no windmills in a soccer field. They don't play soccer. Why are they here? In case you're wondering, I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to beat this level. Okay, well, oh, shit. I'm in a fire truck, man. How am I supposed to dodge anything? I've got like a three inch space to work with for like backing up and then moving forward. I've got to make like a 380 point turn over here. Now these balls here are, you know, I was gonna say, they're mostly just drunken balls. They're not doing that much. They just kind of very languidly flip around. Okay, look. Oh God, I transformed that put me on the other side of the board. Also, are they throwing fire onto the field? Is this a totally accurate representation of a football game? I'm using those words. <laughs> the referee's an anchor. That's what I was trying to find out. I'm starting to use all the terminology interchangeably now. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? The score is zero, zero. I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is... The balls are completely indestructible. Actually, it's just bad news and more bad news. The humans are also indestructible. All right, here's the plan. We're getting through this this time without taking a single hit. Well, that lasted two seconds. As you can imagine, I had to- What is happening? I was gonna say, oh, that plane just got murdered by sports. I was gonna say I had to restart because I got teleported outside the board again and I'm already on stage three length. I don't know what to call this. <laughs> It's like some sort of illness. Stage four length. I know a lot of people would just, you know, really love a longer car, but for me, it's just getting in the way. All right, so can I, here we go, there we go. Oh, well, that one has a stop stick. So some of them do and some of them don't. After getting hit like 15 times now, I definitely get about five seconds from each hit where I'm like immune to turning into the next vehicle, so that's good. Like, now I'm 100% gonna turn. Yeah, I'm a limo now. Well, nope, that's another one. Here we go again. Okay, so now as lo- oh, Jesus. As long as I don't get teleported outside of the board, I think I can complete this. All right, so I'm, I'm in the rocket truck now. Fantastic. Whoa, what happened? What was that? I just got kicked like a soccer ball. I'm on fire. How come everyone is so flammable? Is soccer this violent where you're from, Alex? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> did you see what happened when 
the guy hit the, the vehicle? These people weigh like 10,000 pounds or something. They're made of dark matter. Alex, can you tell me why you decided to make to make all of the soccer players have the mass of a small sun? Yes, their team name is Team Dying Star. That is kind of cool though. I mean, it really makes the ticket price worth it. Because how often do you go to a soccer game and you get to be involved in the creation of a black hole? I was doing so well! Oh, that's interesting. So if you teleport while you're in the middle of a slowdown stick, it stops slowing you down or something. That's weird. Okay, this is happening. Oh, this is happening right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, epic move! Ow! Yeah, you, when you hit these... <laughs> when you hit these guys, it's like hitting an, an immovable object. It's completely nuts. They're throwing Molotov cocktails on the field! What's that? Mom, I'm on TV. Oh, no, don't you touch my car! <laughs> Ooh, the teleporter, hold on. So we just have to get to the teleporter. Oh, God! Hey, ho! Maybe I can land this. Sticks to landing. Uh, we got a real problem here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can level this car out. God, this board just started and it's already completely ridiculous. That kind of a crash? Apparently it did. All right, so we're gonna... Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me fall into the teleport for God's sake! <laughs> oh, I can't even fall to my death. I'm Just gonna wriggle, slowly wriggle, wriggle toward the end. <laughs> Either this isn't counting as a crash, or this is—I don't know. Maybe this is the final vehicle. Well, what? What the? What was that? <laughs> That's not how vehicles move. Oh, that was not the final vehicle. So just, just, just get there, Gray. All you have to do is just hit the teleport. Wow! All you have to do is just hit the teleporter, and everything's gonna be just fine. Stop trying to set me on fire! Oh no, it's still going. <laughs> Ooh, I get a flamethrower now, though. Not that it matters. There's really no one I can set on fire. They just come at you, and they're just flaming bodies of inanimate death, I guess. What was that? Ow! Okay, I think on this particular track, this is the longest vehicle you can get. So that... Yep. Definitely the longest vehicle you can get. Did I just murder, like, an entire section of people? I love that it keeps trying to turn me <laughs> into the next vehicle, but I'm already in the longest one. There! Finally! Oh, come on! <laughs> just let me have this! <laughs> yes! Ha ha ha! Uh, great job. Now, just answer a simple question. How many balls were there? Are you, you kidding me? Wait, like you legitimately thought I would count all the balls? Are you nuts? <laughs> all right, so if Alex made part of this board, it's got to be 69, right? I love that one of the answers is I hate you. I have no idea how many balls there were. It's got to be 69. 100%. I'm willing to put my life on this. You ready for this? Go! Ah! I was lied to! You may say to yourself, Great, you're not going to sit there and try and count every single ball, are you? Yep, sure am. You don't want to know how long I've been at this. The best way I found to do this is to just leave the car because it's not like I get any longer. That would be weird. But I can count the balls legitimately this way. So I have to mention something real quick. There's little tiny balls too. Does this count as a half a ball? Okay. I've been... Oh my God. So I've been... Oh, I did... The windmill! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what I was trying to say before I got murdered over and oh, oh stop. Before I got, thank you. Before I got murdered over and over again is I counted them. And the answer is I think 52. Oh. Oh, I did get the right answer then. I'm not dead for the record. I didn't ask him to build this above a windmill farm. Who didn't ask who? You didn't ask Petey? I'm pretty sure Petey made this part. Do I have to race against F1 cars with this? This looks like a car that was put together by Ikea. Can I? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, they're like little mobile ramps. They just launch you right off the board. Ooh, wait a second. This car wasn't here before. 
I get to be my own F1 car? How many crashes was that? Four? Okay, I wanted to get all the way back over here to see if this is like an anti-cheat measure, and I'm pretty sure it is. It's just a giant wall. So I think I have to go with the cars. Like I'm racing with them. And then they're gonna come up and they're gonna shove the nose of their vehicle up my rectum, like right there. And then I end up, what the? Oh, wow. Oh, this is so weird. Cause the board is moving too. Look at the vehicles you turn into this time. <laughs> oh, it's the airport vehicle. God, no. What's the top speed on this thing? Like 45? <laughs> There's no, oh, I'm doing really good on this thing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe this is one of those instances yet again where I can just get to the longest car and, oh, no. You have to be a Greyhound bus eventually. <laughs> this board is the devil. Also, I'm calling it, oh God. I'm calling it right now. There's no way that this board exists. Oh, and there's stuff that hits you in the front too. So I can't even use my attention behind me because there's stuff that comes at me from the front. So I'm getting hit from both sides, man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Now, there is no way this was built over a windmill farm and the windmills aren't coming into play. 100%, I'm gonna get murdered by windmills, aren't I? As of right now, I found that the the objects that you run into, like straight run into, are only on the sides of the board. So as long as you stay in the middle, eh, eh, <laughs> you can dodge everything. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some. There's some. Oh god. There's some. Oh whoa. There's some boosts. Well, I didn't expect a boost would ruin my my traction quite that much. Oh, now I change cars. All right, I'm starting to get this down. I'm kind of learning oh God, the handling of this thing. The only problem is, oh, man, those three in the same spot are just awful. God, it's like a trio of bad choices reminding me. Ray, remember that time when you first downloaded <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? Yes, my life before that had a, a lack of high blood pressure. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far, though. So... Really? What is this? Was it like a pit stop? Okay, so like halfway through the board, I don't know if you could see it because I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my attention behind me so I don't get, you know, railroaded by one of the F1 cars. There's like a pit area where there's a big crash. <laughs> and then there's, you have to go up on the side or something. The only problem is I can't really tell exactly when it's gonna show up. I know it's somewhere after this mountain side. So like there's the mountain. And you have to get pretty far past the mountain, and then eventually we'll get to the pit stop area. Oh, this- oh, I found the pit stop area, by the way. And it destroyed my car. So you can't go over this pit stop. You have to go around it. Well, I'm trying to go around it, but I keep getting hit. Oh, my life almost ended. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a repair kit over here. So what does the repair kit do? Does that send you like back to the first car or what happens? I'm kind of scared. Part of me makes me think it's gonna murder me. Oh, what the? It put me in a hearse. The speed of the cars may or may not go up. When? Why? See that guy in the back seat? That's my, that's my hope. <laughs> As you can see, it has decayed over time. I love the horn on this thing. Sounds like I'm at a hockey game. So I think the repair kit brings you back in time a little bit. Like, it, it kind of, like, regenerates a few of your, your car models, so to speak. Now, on this point in the board, there are slowdown strips. Yep, there's slowdown strips now. So now I have to deal with the cars. I <sighs> The cars are spinning. I have to deal with the tires, and I have to deal with the slowdown strips. Come on! <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> Anyone need to catch a flight? What's past the Greyhound bus? Oh, the beer truck. Well, that'll get some use. Oh, wow. Back to the beginning. Check this out. I am at the point now. Watch this. I am gonna get through this entire run. Hold on. And I didn't hit a single car. <laughs> that's the first and last time that's ever gonna happen. So what does the regeneration do? There's nothing I can regenerate to. It doesn't do anything now. So now, the question, well, all right. I was gonna say, how long can I go before I get murdered by another vehicle? Now well, there goes, that's two crashes, that's three crashes. This is okay though, this, this car has a little bit of handling. Well, 
Not when it's going three miles an hour. Ooh. Um. Oh. You know what? Maybe crashing into this was like the best thing that could have happened because, well, I didn't get to keep it for very long, but the traction on the F1 car is the best. All right, here's the plan. I am now intentionally taking hits until I get the F1 car. Well, I didn't get to keep it for very long, but then I'm gonna try and start the board with that. Okay, this is working out really good. We've got the F1 car. We got good speed. Uh-oh. Oh, what happened? I barely got nicked. Like the front corner panel just barely got nicked. I got shot out of the car like a cannon. Oh, there's my car. Yeah, that's what happens to betrayers. Enjoy being on fire. Okay, I've got good news. I'm at the pit stop. The run has been doing good. Basically what I do now, oh God, is I, Jesus. I didn't know these things started to like go from right to, no! I was gonna say, what I've been doing is I get to the pit stop in the first vehicle, and then at the pit stop, I just hit the wall and turn into the F1 car. All right, F1 car. Oh, out of the pit. <laughs> felt one, felt like a piece of my earlobe getting sheared off there from how close that was to getting into a crash. Basically what there is, is if you can stay directly, man, I was gonna say, if you can stay directly on, like, the middle, you'll miss most of the slowdown sticks, but it looks like they alternate. They go one on the right, one on the left, two in the middle, three in the middle, we're changing to a bigger car. Okay, so something I learned. The slowdown strips are set. They're, they're in the same segments every single time. They don't move. So I've learned how those work, but now there's a literal windmill in the way like actually in the way of me trying to complete this board and because my vehicle keeps getting longer <laughs> i'm trying to figure out exactly how i'm supposed to even get past this thing i basically <sighs> i basically can't get hit once i can't get hit a single time i need to keep the f1 vehicle and then i have to turn forward dodge the windmill there we go oh yeah oh this is happening this is happening right now i was I supposed to do that or? Oh yeah, okay, hold on. <laughs> I made the right choice, but if, if I didn't do this, I would have screwed myself over. Look at that, it's a ramp and it brings you right back on to the platform and you have to do it again. But this is great, I've got the F1 car. Well, now I also know why you didn't want to complete this with a really long vehicle. Because it's all a bunch of stop signs, but that means that we're gonna have a winner. Long cars versus stair challenge. Cars get progressively longer, which is the one that can legitimately make it. If you're gonna go long, you might as well start with the most ridiculous vehicle there is. I find it unusual that there's absolutely no passengers that want to get inside of my bus. Crumbling snow stairs. Well, that's cool. Ah, yes. Nothing like a stairway to heaven made out of a bunch of snow cones. What flavor are the snow cones? Agony. Because I can't get up the third stair. Well, I guess I am up the third stair. I just can't leave the third stair. I am stuck on the third stair. The only way off is to die. Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say, the only way off is to die, but maybe I can waggle the vehicle off to the side and have a second chance. I get the feeling though that, yeah, the back of the bus keeps hitting the concrete, so there's no way to get past the third stair. But this is unfortunate. Next stop, sad town. The only problem is now I have to use all the tax dollars to buy all these grenades to move this thing off the challenge area. Go away! Oh my God, there we go. We went with really long. Let's try the shortest. Sure, sure this can make it or sure I'm an idiot. It's probably a little bit of both. I noticed one of the stairs had melted and so I decided to shoot it and now it legitimately fell off. Can you not? Hey, stop. I can't, I can't. I'm on top of. All right. Hold on one second. Hey! Eat it! Yeah. Everyone happy now? Everyone satisfied with their retirement? I know I am. Okay, let's try that again. This car is pretty decent. Oh my God. That is a lot of stairs that just decide to eat themselves off of the incline. What happened there? What decides which stairs leave? Because it's kind of random. I went up a lot of stairs and none of them 
fell to their death except for that one. All right, get some speed, pop it, and the problem is I begin to lose traction. Oh, there goes one stair. I begin to lose traction. Now this is starting to look like grandma's teeth over here. It's like throwing a split and bowling or something. I don't know if it is the damage to the stair that's doing it. You can see every once in a while, some of the stairs get busted up. Like they start to lose their stair figure. The fact that this car is the shortest car and it's still ridiculously long makes me realize how much agony I'm in store for considering stairs and long cars don't really go together. All right, we're gonna give this one last try. I'm not sure even if I utilize my hydraulics to the best of my ability that I can get. Well, hold on. Eh. I thought maybe if I went from right to left, I could continue to get some traction and you kind of do until the stairs leave. And these stairs are never coming back from the store with a gallon of milk. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if this car can get taken out by a couple of grenades. I'm willing to find out though. Wow. I mean, it's smoking, but it just tanked four grenades. That's pretty impressive. And so out of my respects to you, I, oh. Well, I guess I'm not gonna drive you to your death. You're just gonna have to sit here and burn. There, I'll give you one more. And there we go. All right, let's try something with some off-road capability. It's got chains on the tires. Chains made out of fresh Wisconsin. I'll tell you, if there's one thing I love about Wisconsin, it is snowmobiling. It may say Siberia on the license plate. That's because it's from Siberia, Wisconsin. It's in, it's in the Northwest Wisconsin area. You know, this is pretty good. It's, uh, it's, oh my god, whoa, hey, it's slow, ah! God, it's like driving on a bunch of moldy graham crackers. What I was gonna say is it's slow going, but I think it could do it. We are almost there. Gotta rock this thing back and forth, and there you go, the snow vehicle for the snow stairs. Hey, hey. let's give it up for Siberia, Wisconsin, y'all. All right, sloping, spinning, Rainbow stairs, sure. It's kind of like uh, watching a rainbow xylophone be possessed by Satan. You know how Annabelle the doll is possessed? It's like Jezebel the xylophone. Oh yeah. Oh, the chains make it happen. Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll just roll back down and reset this or we'll fall to our death. Getting up the snow stairs isn't bad at all. It takes a little time, but it's not that bad. So we're going to pop. I don't know if I want to send it because you just kind of hit the very first spinning rainbow cylinder cigarette pack. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but when you hit it, you lose all your forward momentum. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Man, every time I hit one of the spinners, it just destroys my entire run. All right, this car's derp. We're going to try a different one. This looks stupid. Yeah, some cars run on electricity. Some cars run on uh, like cooking oil. This runs on high fructose corn syrup, baby. I wasn't sure if it could get up the snow stairs. It can, mostly because of the boost and the fact that it has six tires. Look at this skull. It's looking at you judgmentally. All right, now for the spinning rainbow totem pole thing. Uh, Yeah, this is gonna be hard no matter what I pick. Come on, sugar. The sugar is failing me. It is just empty calories at this point. Why carbohydrates? Why have you failed? Come on! Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We stopped getting anywhere. We're falling backward now to our death. Okay, I'm starting to think I may have picked the wrong car. We're gonna try this one last time. I'm gonna give it everything I got. Oh, that was stupid. That didn't do anything. This is ridiculous. I thought I had a bad idea before. Look, the reason I try it is because you never know. Okay, this could be the chosen one. This vehicle could be amazing when it comes to stairs, or it could have absolutely no traction. Oh my God, what just happened? There is some sort of unholy mating ritual going on between the RV and this thing. I see some military break dancing. Ho, hey, there you go. Ah, this is what bad choices taste like. You know, if you stay straight and you don't turn in this thing, it is great on the snowy stairs. In fact, it's the best. The best we've had. It might be able to do. Oh, well, I hadn't thought about that. 
Maybe I can, oh, hey, there you go, okay. The front end is a little bit of a problem because it keeps, you know, sticking its wiener in all the light sockets and I can't get this thing up. The twisty, spinning, sloping rainbow stairs. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and jump to my death. And perfect, fall right on the mouth. I wanted to try one last thing. It was doing this backwards. Uh, it didn't work, as you can imagine by me just standing here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop some Amazon packages off here. And Happy New Year. What's this? All that's left is real vehicles? How could it be? All right, my choices are a sweet truck or a sweet SUV. We're picking the sweet truck. Oh yeah. Just die! <laughs> Come on! This this truck looks like it could win. This looks like, oh wow, okay. The, the speed on this is pretty good. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, so smooth. So sweet. I didn't realize how strong this thing is at climbing the stairs. Got a little bite to it, not gonna lie. All right, stairs have been climbed. This thing has pretty much claimed the soul of, oh. Oh, whoa, oh, okay. Uh, You can't turn once you're on your way up, but that was really good. Don't turn, don't turn, just go straight. Man, the only problem is again, when you when it gets totally stopped, you're screwed. You just lose all, all the forward momentum and you just fall back downward. Like right here, there's no way to, for me to get more traction. Man, the suspension is getting a workout today. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hold on. Oh, please don't do this to me. Don't you dare. No, I got three-fourths of the way there! This is a ridiculous challenge! Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on! No! Stop! Not again! Ah! Ow! Oh, I hit the ground harder than normal. That's unfortunate. All right, in the grand scheme of long cars versus stairs, the stairs are winning. And so it's time for the Wastelander. Yes, yeah, stairs. What's up now? What's up now? Boom, right there. Wastelander. All day, every day. You're trying to make me fall between the gaps? You totally were. And did. Ow, that's okay. Second time's the charm. Ooh. This thing drifts a lot while you're climbing these stairs, I noticed. The back and the, well, both the back and the front end slide all over the place. Please, God, let this work. Ah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel too bad. Sure. Now here's the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Hold on. We still have grip. I just need to uh, jank the tires left and right every once in a while. Like that kind of maintains its grip a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come on, there's like five left. Four, three, two, yes. Finally! The top of the rainbow sadness staircase has been achieved, which brings us to the downward snake staircase. What? Well, this looks awful. Those are some heavy turns. Uh, does it? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't know if there's any additional movement that I need to. Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, wow. The Wastelander has no traction going downhill. It almost feels like I'm driving on ice when the Wastelander goes downhill. Look at how much it just slings all over the place. I can't even make this turn. When I come around the turn, I'm not even super sending it or anything. It's effectively just kind of uh, idle now and again, and it still has a hard time keeping on it. The problem is too, is this entire challenge is timed. Get 26 seconds. I can keep oh my god i can basically drift a lot of this but i still need to shave off like eight seconds i'm not gonna lie uh downward snaking whatever this is spiral stairs maybe the wastelanders kryptonite yeah sometimes i just don't start the turn early enough all right wait for it wait for it wait for it now then sling it around looking good drift the whole way down tokyo drift style Stay on the roadway. Okay, this is the best run I've had. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, wow. There's no way that the Wastelander can do this. I hate to say it, I thought that the Wastelander was gonna breeze through everything. The Wastelander loses again. I'm pretty concerned at what vehicle has any chance of doing that timed run. 
So we're gonna try the extended Hummer here. It has done really well so far. And in the rainbow staircase, first try. Oh, hold on, maybe not. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. No, 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 no. No, I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, don't do this to me. Stop. <laughs> come on, man. Quite a few soul crushing tries later. I've never been able to replicate that first run. Just let me have this one time. Or don't, you know what? Fine. I've had enough. We've got like four choices left. So other gigantic truck. I'm running out of F, yeah. I'm running out of real good choices here. All right, this truck looks legit. Snow stairs, easy, no problem. Didn't even lose any speed. Came off it with air. Rainbow stairs, uh, feels really good. Oh yeah, okay, I'm not gonna say anything though. I just wanna, I wanna complete it first. I wanna complete it first before. Yeah, first try, finally, first try. <laughs> I can say it now. All right, downward snake. How well do you hug the staircase? Um, the back end really bounces. Uh, feels better than the wastelander. Although I get, maybe I'm just used to the drifting at this point. Well, that screwed up my whole run. I'm starting to get the hang of the drift that this thing needs. I have a tendency to overcorrect. I still don't know if we're getting enough speed though to beat the time limit. Because the 20, oh my god, the 26 seconds goes by a lot faster than you think. I still need to shave off like four more seconds. Okay, this run feels good. This run feels really good. Got to stay way to the outside and then come inside and then hug it as hard as you can. Man, that was my best run. Okay, we're going to, that hurt a lot. We're going to. <laughs> is the guy in the passenger seat dead? I'm pretty sure he made his friend eat the roll cage, and I think his friend is dead. He's totally dead. All right, three levels of pain, three potential choices. We're going for global oil. I want my oil spraying all around the, the entire world. All, oh, oh my God, okay. Uh, all across the globe, my oil dust spray. That was not what I was expecting at all. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, so how does it feel on this? Are you, ooh, whoa, hey, okay, hold on, let me reset this. Reason I want to reset this is it felt kind of good <laughs> going at, well, that sounds weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, the grip on these tires. What is going on? These tires are made out of dark matter. I have no idea why else to say that this thing is doing so well on this stupid challenge when nothing else could. This is incredible! Globe oil! How about that? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference between all the other cars though and this car is it can stay glued onto the challenge. And so even if you slip a little bit, I can get past it. Snake staircase, okay. And I do, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, so this is the opposite. This doesn't drift at all. Like, I'm not drifting this thing. It's just driving normally, as if though I'm driving down a road. Oh my, that's incredible. It did it on the first try. It did it on the first try with like a second or two left. You never know when a stupid vehicle like this is suddenly gonna be the one. Anyway, say hello to Fiving Stairs. What is going on here? Apparently these stairs have ingested a lot of LSD and are now stirring the cauldron of felonies. So do you just kinda, okay. And then it goes to the, oh, what God's name? Oh, wow. Uh. I'm hoping that was some kind of fluke. No joke. Getting past the challenges in this thing is so different again, compared to any other vehicle. This thing is incredible at these stair challenges. Ow. I got... Did I just fly out the side window? I didn't know that happens. Anyway, as I was going to say before I was so promptly lobotomized by my side window, there we go. With a full half a second left. Now, on this, what I was trying to say is, 
This is weird because it is moving from right to left, but it's in a circle. God, the problem here is because this is a circle, it goes right to left, but it's not at the same speed all the time. It eventually goes slower right to left. So then you have to transfer. You kind of have to start turning to the left, man. And then if you hit anything, it screws you up. I can't really tell how I'm supposed to be driving. Oh my God. I don't know if I should stay more to the right. If I'm turning too hard, if I'm not turning enough, then you got to turn the other direction. And it's already getting pulled out from under you. Okay, we're going to start going to the right. Well, that didn't work. I've been trying to enter the stairs straight. I've been trying to enter the stairs when it's turned off to the right. The crazy part is, is because the stairs also go forward and backward, you suddenly jump like 50 stairs right there in the middle. Now you got to slow down though, okay? Now you pick up again. When the stairs start to go backward through you, like, oh my God. All right. Well, toward you, you can start accelerating. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 no. What? Oh, this is like the most drunken, ridiculous challenge. I've left so many tire marks. And if you notice all my tire marks are just on the front portion of this thing. It's so hard to make it to the middle. You can see I have less and less tire marks the farther you get up the stairs here. I'm going for a PB here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We pulled out got a ride. God, this challenge is giving me a migraine. Oh, I stayed on there. Okay. Come on, I can DDR this. I know what I know what to do. We're doing fine. Straighten it out, turn it to the left, get like 20, 30, 40 stairs. Go off to the right, slow on down, not really trying to get anywhere. Straighten out, off to the left, pump it. And then slow. No big deal. Okay, we're getting there. We're 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 like we're like halfway. Okay, this is working. This is working. It is a beautiful dance that ends up with more than likely me dying horribly. Left, straight, right. Okay. And now we're going to get good distance. Oh my God, it's right there. Oh my God. Do I go for it? Do I go for it? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. All right. Go. Yeah. Oh, 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 I hate you so much. That was the most ridiculous staircase, but now we have a winner. We've done long vehicle challenges and we've done bridge challenges, but it takes two to tango in order to get rid of my will to live. And so Alex has created a brand new challenge. Since he's continued to evolve his ridiculousness that he's able to do with these boards, he's gone back to bridges. Except these bridges are completely different than the last one. Some of them fall apart independently, some of them break away at the weight of the vehicles, and just because it was especially painful last time, he's brought back an even bigger volcano. Instead of having supercars that would make this slightly less painful, he's given me only the longest cars in GTA with which to do this. These are the choices we have, and only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy this one. Since bridges tickle my anxiety bone, Alex decided to morning Woodbridge, really, Alex? <laughs> the fact that I laugh at that means I have middle school humor as well. Anyway, instead of giving me vehicles that could probably reasonably complete these challenges, I have these things. Like, I'm just trying to go straight on some logs, and the logs are backhanding me across the entire bridge. This thing bounces like it's oh, made out of cotton no candy. More. Because I have a, a high pain tolerance, I'm, oh my God. I was gonna say, I, I'm gonna try this again. I am turning, by the way. We're never doing that again. All right, there's one car that's not ridiculously oversized and it's the insane F1 car, the really fast one. So I have extremely high hopes for this. Oh yeah, look at that. You, there, there's no amount of wood that can keep the junk down, okay? What is this plane doing? What are you, is this like an Amazon delivery? Are you gonna crash into the board? You're gonna crash into the board, aren't you? Yep, right into the board. No self-preservation at all. That was a lot like me. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You didn't think it would be easy, that easy, did you? Are you serious? Like he knew that I was gonna fall in this exact log. Can I wiggle my way out of this? I didn't think it would be easy, but I also didn't think that my life would be ruined in the first 10 seconds of downloading this board. Wow, I am, I am, this is so odd. This is a glitchy mess. How? I, I'm almost upside down. Look at it, I don't know how I'm hugging onto the wood. All right, that, that had to just be bad luck. I'm sure it can't be, can't be that bad. All right, we're gonna go on the right. Woo, woo. Okay, I can. No, I need to take a moment to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but skill. I need to take a moment to show you something real quick. I wanted to come down here and scout out this board to see how long this is. Look at this insanity! I, I can't. I actually can't see the end to the bridges. It just. Get away, factories! It just goes on forever! We can get through this. I just need to- I just need all the speed. Go! All the speed! All the speed! Go, 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 go! I am out running! Yeah! Ho, 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 ho! How about that, Alex? When gravity slaps you across the mouth, you just have to outrun gravity. It's not that big of a deal. Gate bridge. If the bridge is gaping, then it's not doing its job. The entire purpose of a bridge is to connect point A to point B. So, okay. So the bridge still connects point A to point B. There's just giant gaps every so often. I love it. That's fine though. I'm not afraid of a couple of, whoa, ow, uh, ah. Uh, I mean, we're still here. Also, is the bridge getting thinner? All right, I need to see if with hydraulics, I can get through this and keep going. All right, ready? And a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> I want every available. Well, that was a lot of effort for nothing. All right. I just got to keep the front up. Whoa. Okay, keeping the front up does not help at all. This thing's really good at barrel rolling. In fact, I think I've barrel rolled every single time I've fallen in between these gaps. All right, let's go to the other side of the choice pool. Maybe there's like a... It's like a hidden meme car that wins like the last one. How about the bus? I love mass transit cucumber. <laughs> Obviously, Alex is simply mentioning the health benefits of this particular bus. I guess the main question is, can it get past the very first challenge? What I didn't know is that this bus has been chain watching the movie Speed because getting above 55 miles an hour is almost impossible. Well, I guess that was below 55 miles at- Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Hold on! <laughs> I can't believe it! Okay, all right, touche. That is unbelievable. Well, cucumber for the win. Oh, man, I'll tell you, if there's one thing I love, it is slapping problems across the face with an icy cold cucumber. Oh, oh, maybe the, the sheer length of this thing, ow. The gap's getting wider? I think the gaps are getting wider. Yeah, they're definitely getting wider. I can clear the gap with this thing. My problem is I don't know if I can get enough speed to get to the next platform. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try though. Oh, 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 this is happening. Hold on, this is a real thing that's happening. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so now the gaps are much closer. Look, now both of my wheels can barely fit on this together. Then the course gets even more tight ropey. I don't know if I can, I can't get the front of the bus on top of this lip. There we go. It may take me an hour, but, I, but maybe this bus can get there. So I got bad news. I turned the bus into a seesaw and the problem is now I can't get enough wheel traction in the back of the bus to push it forward and keep going. This seems like an excellent idea. To be fair, if I remember correctly, this limo is legit. It has amazing horsepower for the fact that, you know, it's basically a gold-plated death bullet. Handling's pretty good. Ooh, ooh, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, the handling's great up, well. The handling's as good as you would expect from vehicles that are literally made to have terrible handling. Put your pleb blockers up, everyone, because we're going past this challenge. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is actually very satisfying. This is fantastic. Okay, so it gets a lot thinner, but we are still rolling it. Oh, wow, it gets really thin. I didn't know there was another one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, but the limo is doing really good so far. 
I mean, it's drowning now, but before it drowned, it was doing really good. The only thing that being famous does is make it so that someone else gets to make money when you die. I know this because a couple of my buddies have the death pool thing going where they try and guess Oh, who's next to die out of the famous people? I want to give this another shot. I feel like if I just line it up perfectly. Ooh, maybe not. Ugh. Obviously, being in first person will totally make this work. Just don't ask any questions. Sometimes being in first person is the difference. Whoa! Between failure and success. The only thing that happened was we failed in first person. You know what would fix this? Drowning myself. All right. I want speed and suspension. I've had enough of this. Powered by high fructose corn syrup. Man, I'll tell you, this must be what it's like driving 35 tons of marshmallows. I don't really know how else to describe it. This thing drives so softly that I it, it doesn't react well to logs at all. No, I didn't think it would be easy. In fact, I know it's not easy. It's never been easy. I am finally to the third section of this this wood bridge and it's awful <laughs> okay but no <laughs> oh, that was almost real bad <laughs> I, I can't hold on I, i'm trying to push this car over and it keeps slow look at it slowly shaking to the end the car is trying to kill itself stop getting inside of the driver's seat of this thing was such a bad idea No way! <laughs> Come on! I finally got it! I finally got it! Why? I hate this car. I hate this car. It it got it got through. What the what is that? What happened? Oh come on! Oh, why? That's not fair. Ow. Okay, last try. If it if it can't do it, it can't do it. I can't stand this thing anymore. This is it. It's like, oh my god. It's like every terrible choice I've ever made in my life came back and haunted me in one vehicle-shaped, six-wheeled piece of karma. And it is this. The the double soda sprunk mobile or whatever it is. All right, so finally we have gotten to this bridge. How does it do? Doing very good. Are you kidding me right now? Is this, is, is this, is this really happening? Is this the car that's going to make it across? I, you gotta be kidding me. I was this close to giving up. Uneven crate bridge. What? After all the weird names you've been giving the bridges, this this name for this bridge is the most innocuous. Oh, uh, okay. These break away, don't they? I almost guarantee you that these are breakaway boards. Watch. You yeah, ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 maybe not. Oh. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, they are, yep. I was lied to. What did you, what did you make the first few invincible and then do breakaways? Now I don't want to give up. After seeing it can go that far, are you gonna run into my bridge again? What is with this plane? Okay, go, 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 doing great. As long as you don't turn much at all, this challenge is the easiest one out of out of all the challenges on this car. This is like no problem. I can even correct a little bit and it doesn't go off this. Perfect. Now, the uneven crate bridge, I'm just gonna gun it. We're gunning it. There's no way this thing can make it. The bridge falls apart faster than I can get across it. It's not because this thing's any lighter than the last vehicle. It's mostly because I want to try this. After having the supercar come out of nowhere on the watery potholes board, it's like you never really can tell. So it's, oh my God, <laughs> this almost made it across. Okay, you just want to not turn. Well, all right, easier said than done. Okay, runs looking good so far. Runs, well, I was like three logs away. All right, check out the strat. I've used the rockets to get rid of all of the logs that are dynamic and not all of them are, oh, come on! I'm hanging on to this wood by my fingernails. Like, there is, yeah, I'm dead now. Get ready, 
because now after getting that close, I'm not giving up until this thing makes it across this. Ah, oh, I don't care how many times it takes. I don't care. This is a personal challenge now. It's personal. 100%. For the love of all that is holy, just let me have this. Okay, I've got the leaning down. This is looking... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Yes! Oh, my... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I remember what you did to me. Oh, you think you can get away? You think you can run away? Hold on. You may be asking yourself, great. Did you literally sit there and wait for that plane to come all the way around circling the area to the point where you could shoot it down? Yep. Sure did. Taste my anguish. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like pain. All right. Well, this is, uh, this is working out really good so far. I told you. I'm here to test him. And we are testing it. Huh. This is doing surprisingly well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I did not think it was gonna get past the gaps. And this is second only to the six-wheel car. This is incredible. Look at the suspension on this thing. I would have never known it unless I tested it. That's amazing. That's amazing. I cannot, I cannot believe this thing made it past the gap bridge. I'm sorry, the gape bridge. Now the uneven crate bridge. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I don't think anything weighs as much. Oh, 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 we got halfway. I went through all this just because I wanted to give it one more try. And no, there is no way. This is kind of a, a new hero to the challenges. This giant extended bed truck. So I wanted to test it to see how far it can get because it's super fast. You get a free lady in the back. She comes along with the truck. Also, I don't know if you see it, but she's got like a happy meal in front of her or something. And if you're not gonna eat that, ma'am, I will. Assuming it stays in the bed of the truck after the suspension workout that we're getting here. Well, that and the back compression workout. How many discs would you like to blow up? Alex asked, and I said yes. Uneven crate bridge. No one's gotten past this yet. And this is not gonna do it. No joke, getting to this part is really easy in this truck, but I don't know if I can get past the crate bridge. The problem is I'm trying, I'm trying slower, I'm trying faster. Okay. That last vehicle, the crates were falling apart faster than my hopes and dreams. So we're gonna try and use the stretch hammer. I actually have a fairly good feeling about this thing. It does have a pretty good top speed and it is insanely long. I love that this car is made out of money. Maybe I should pay Alex to stop making these boards. There we go. This is gonna be one time all the way to the end. Here we go, watch this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I knew it would be fantastic. It's like the stretch limo, but even better because the uh, the clearance on the ground is fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh, this is what it feels like to get like beaten to death by a Muay Thai master. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh my God. Okay, can any vehicle get past this stupidity? All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna try this really, really patiently. Well, once again, I learned patience is dumb. Oh. Hi there, teleporting pickup truck. Just phasing through walls today, are we? Well, I've got a, uh, got a little graduation present for you. Oh, I missed it. Well, I didn't miss the second one. <laughs> hey! I will tell you. Murdering people absolutely gives me a reason to live after dealing with these boards for a while. <laughs> oh. oh, really? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Gray 2 Random Biplane. I think the random biplane actually also has two. Come on. Yeah, I'm not losing this here. There we go. I wasn't sure if this was a fluke the first time we did it. It's not. It just does this part really, really good. Patience doesn't work. We're just going for it. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it is. Oh my god. Yes! Don't you roll off this board. Oh! That is what it feels like to almost fail every two feet. My blood pressure right now is so high that someone could try and give me an injection and my blood would go into the needle and murder the person holding it. Half and half bridge. What is this? 
What is this? It's like squid games mixed with tetanus. Does this fall apart? No. Or at least it doesn't look like it does. Does the glass fall apart? We're gonna go with speed on this one. I do not want to have to do this thing. Oh, the glass 100% breaks. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this could do it. This could legitimately do it. Yeah! Wow. That was actually the one of the most awesome and least painful bridges I've done because it makes it look like you're gonna die, but then you don't. Not a good sign bridge. Like crop signs or like home for sale signs. Ah, ammunition signs. Obviously, if you don't know, ammunition is a breakaway sign, which means that if at any point, oh, oh, I was gonna say, if at any point it goes wrong, this is where we're gonna end up. I wanna try this again though. No joke, this car can get through the rest of this challenge like in record speed compared to all the other cars. It, look at it, it looks like it's gonna fail every second and somehow it makes it. So the bridge, I'm gonna keep the front end up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, oh my God. Oh, it's right in the middle. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on the good sign bridge. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is it, this is it. The last second we have a Jaguar. <laughs> It's okay, we have the checkpoint though. The bridge falls apart the instant the tires get over it. But we had just enough speed to make it to the end. Welcome to Volcano Bridge, the sequel. Erupting sanity. So I wanted to come up here and see how this volcano was different than the last volcano that we had that one time a while back. There's a lot of rocks in this volcano. The other volcano you were meant to bank off of the rock in order to cross the bridge. I think you're supposed to dodge these rocks because there is a ton of rocks coming out of there at very high speed. Oh, this must have been what Frodo felt like. I can hear my mom be like, get in the car, Gray, we're going to Mordor. I love Mordor this time of year. Let's do this. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to bank off of the rocks, but you can still totally bank off the rocks and it's kind of amazing. All right, let's try and miss the rocks. How about this? Oh, the car can't make it without the rocks. Maybe the key is just more speed. I didn't go to the very, very end and pump boost. Maybe with that together, I'll have enough raw speed to cross this. Oh, I was right there. Like another foot in this. Whoa, another foot and this thing totally makes it. Sticks the landing. <laughs> All right, pump boost, full speed, maximum duration, picking the right side. Got uppercutted, but I got uppercutted too far to the right. I want you to hit me, Alex. I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Hit me! Ah, yeah! Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe that worked, but whatever. I love your volcano, but I also hate your volcano. But it doesn't matter because we got a winner. Now it's time to deal with loops that would make a normal person want to die. Fortunately, or I guess sadly for me, I'm not exactly a normal person anymore. Tightrope present loop. That is a terrible way to start a challenge. Oh God. Oh, it is, it is literally a tightrope loop made out of the present prop that is god awful <laughs> no i'm not gonna lie the fact that you managed to get this loop i hope to be flat enough to traverse with a vehicle that's insane are you okay well this is pretty much a metaphor for the current state of uh public transit here in Florida, <laughs> I'm slowly sliding to my death. I'm holding on by one tire. This is incredible. It took a long time to die here. Okay, look, I'm gonna give it one last try. I I don't think that there's any, no, there's no way. I didn't think that there was any way to keep enough speed to go around the presence and the lower part of the, whoa, what in God's name? The lower part of the frame of the bus just catches on everything. Sticks to landing, incredible action roll. This looks legit. Shoot him. <laughs> ah, that's a great way to approach these boards to be, oh, oh my God. 
to be honest with you. It's been a long time since I've used this vehicle in anything. Look, I got the gun on the back. I might as well use it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is, that makes clear in the roadway easy. I love it. What I was gonna say is this thing's springs are incredible. The pickup is surprisingly good. It didn't come with air conditioning, so I needed a way to uh, increase the airflow in here. But yeah, hydraulics are looking sweet. Speed is strong. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. The, uh, it is very responsive on the turning, which is a problem. Uh, I'm not going to lie. We might have to put this truck in a few more challenges because so far it's got a lot of power. Ugh, it's the, the problem is the very first challenge is so narrow. Tell me, how do you feel about climbing stairs, truck? The truck's like, no, please. Come on, I know you can get it. I just need to very minor input, very minor. There we go, nice and slow, over the loop, a big jump. Close, it can get there though. All right, this is the run, we're doing this. I've got this down now, look at this. So smooth, so sweet, peel it back off to the right. I needed more speed. Line up the bullseye of the gun Amy thing. Oh, that is clean, there we go. Braking power is pretty good on this thing too. All right, what else you got? Consecutive upward loops. Now this does look really awesome. Kind of jump from loop to loop to loop to loop and you have to transfer while you're doing it. So, all right, so go on loop and you have to yeet us the meet us and I did not yeet us hard enough at all. Now, if you're really skilled, you can time this correctly. Watch this, watch this. Boop. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, this might be a little harder than I had previously anticipated because we need a lot of speed on that jump, man. Hey, can you close my door for me? Thank you. Okay, we're gonna try something that has a little more power to it. This limo, filthy. <laughs> this limo should be pretty tweaked up. Oh yeah. Oh, you can hear it. The top speed. It's roaring. I am surprised at how smooth this thing climbs. Oh my God. Thing fires off of the loop like Robin Hood's arrow. Oh, I probably should add a little bit more mustard on that. Remember how I said the uh, top speed on this would be pretty good? I may have been drastically mistaken. The only thing the limo is doing right now is failing. All right, time to soar with the eagles. Here we go. Come on. And the pull down is pretty good on this. Aerodynamics are strong. Not bad at all. There we go. The braking is terrible. All right, we're gonna get all possible distance for the speed on this. Peel out, roll on forward, probably confront death in just a moment. Satan waving in the rear view mirror. Oh, this is terrible, I can already tell. I can already tell this is gonna be awful. Yeah, there's no way. Bray still plays, going for the three-pointer. <laughs> Real quick, I have to mention something. I just closed the door with a grenade. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> I mean, I gotta try it. It's here. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. Sometimes you've got a bomb. Oh, oh boy. What? Yeah. Well, all right. We are we are vomiting out Shrek juice. Delicious. Fun. I don't know. What? Oh, these presents are not dynamic at all. I'll decide how fun it is after I try and jump this thing on a loop. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, not great. Come on, baby, just one time. Get around it one time with the boost. I'm starting to not believe. I'm starting to not believe that this thing can get around this, so we're gonna try and cheat it. I wanna see if I can just jump that gap. Hey, everyone, guess what? Today, we're giving away free fire. Free fire for everyone. Oh, doesn't that feel lovely? It is excellent for the skin. You can see him right there. Enjoying the free fire. Free fire, mm-hmm. This looks pretty sweet. Oh my God, it's something I haven't felt in so long. Whoa. What I was going to say before I failed horribly is actual speed and control. Uh -oh. oh, watch this, Ray. I, I missed. <laughs> I thought maybe I could have caught a corner on there. Oh, hi, sign. Come on. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. I just need to bank this thing to the left a little bit like this. That was that was not at all what I said I was going to do. Okay, bank it to the left. Now. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. 
And finally, we have a vehicle complete the first challenge again. All right, how well does this thing consecutive upward loop roll? Uh, feels okay. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh yeah. Oh, feels good. Oh, we got some speed rolling in. Oh no! Oh, I almost landed on that other loop. So this is surprisingly hard because you really need to keep maximum speed and not lose it all when you're, oh. <laughs> How in the, <laughs> there goes the door. I was gonna say, I'd not lose it all when you're climbing the loop to go to the next loop. Yeah, I don't know if I can make that jump. All right, so we're gonna go around the loop and we're gonna try and exit to the left. So left, there we go, there we go. Okay, that's good. Around the loop. Exit to the left, perfect. I'm losing a lot of speed, I have no traction. I can stick this landing, but I don't know if I can get to the last loop. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh my God. I mean, we're here, we're gonna give it a shot. I might be able to rock this thing backward. So rock it, then rock it now. I need something even faster. I'd like to see this thing do well. Now it is very wide, so I don't get a lot of space on the uh, the present loop over here. It's okay though, we can hold it. We can, uh, I gotta pull it over to the right. Around the loop, nice and smooth, good jump. Perfect execution, there's the landing. And we're just gonna go straight into the next tube. So on the loop, exit to the left, six to landing. On the loop, exit to the left, oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. Oh, no! Oh, I think this could do it. Just harder than you think because you can't ever mess this up in... Ah, no! What I was gonna say is do not underestimate how much perfection you need to cram in a very tiny hole. Oh, come on! Hold on. No, it's right there. I'm not giving up with this thing now. Now we reached it, we touched the clouds. Okay, I walked on the sun, it was hot. I probably have melanoma now. By the power of Florida. Okay, oh God. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, oh my God, I felt my heart trying to choke me to death. Oh, teleporter. Oh, I'm coming for you. Here. Will you please don't mess this up, Gray? Oh, it was farther than I thought! No! You have no idea how much I hated myself just then. I mean, when I looked at the teleporter, it looked so much closer. I'm never gonna be able to do that again, am I? Come on, this is looking clean. And the exit lands. Oh my God, I did it, I did it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got it. I was gonna say that was the first time that I've kept enough speed to go completely through the consecutive loops. Nice. Now, say hello to Oval Loop. It is pretty much what it says it is. It's a, it's a loop that's basically noble. Why is there a random helicopter chilling out? I'm not sure what that arrow up there was pointing at either. I'm trying to figure out if there's some like, something it's trying to tell me or what? How hard's the Oval Loop? Uh, let's, let's whoa, God. Oh boy, whoa, whoa, uh, well, it's very smooth. I almost just got stabbed by my own bumper. I will say the thing that does make me a little happy is the teleporter acted like a checkpoint. So at least we can start from here. What is, is it like an anti-cheat measure? What is that? There's some kind of weird barrier that I'm hitting when I go up here. I, oh. I don't know if that's an anti-cheat or a dummy proof. I think it's anti-cheat so you don't just jump the gap and then land on the next teleporter. Man, but how do you, am I supposed to go? Oh, I know what it is, hold on. Now the sad part is, is that to get a new car, I do have to go back to the beginning. But the open wheeled vehicle junk mobile over here should perform fairly well. There we go, second try, not too bad. On this, it should do fantastic. This thing sticks to any wall like glue. So all you need is like a little bit, oh boy. Oh God, I was gonna say, all you need is a little bit of speed and it can kind of stay on there. All right, all possible speed, get the booster for the curb. I do lose a lot of speed though going around because it kind of, the chassis blobs all over the loop. 
Okay. Still looks all right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this can keep enough speed to do this. All right, come on. Then I've got to roll down to the right a little bit, bring it back over to the left, catch the slot. No. This is something I legitimately haven't seen in a long time. I'm like down to two options. The last couple of challenges, I've at least had a few cars to rely on. I'm hoping this works, because it is the future. All right, future mobile, how's it taste? The future tastes like pain. Tastes like a lot of pain. I'm the type of person that gets to their fortune cookie and inside the fortune cookie is a fortune, except it's just one word and the word is don't. And you're like, fortune cookie, don't what? And the fortune cookie is basically like, don't anything. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's just roll through it. We're just going to roll through this. Feels really good on the wall ride or the loop ride, I guess I'll call it. Uh, transfer is decent. Ooh. Oh. Hold on. Oh, come on. Just land this. Please land this. Just one time. Oh, so close. That was almost a really good save. The present loop is like easy every time now. This loop is going to be the pain. If I could just get that one teleporter and be done with this, I will be so happy. This is feeling good so far. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it. Hold on. We got it. Just aim it up. Come out the middle. There we go. Big teleporter onto the oval loop. All right, so the oval loop, you need to go. There we go. I'm pretty sure I got over the, the invisible wall. So you kind of got to stay on the red when you're going through the top portion of the loop. Curb boost, good speed. Move over to the red. Uh, no. All right, so loop, kind of stay on the red. That looks clean. There we go. And finish the loop. That is, that wasn't that bad. With this car, that was probably the easiest challenge so far. So now we have loop that loops. Oh, okay. Well, this is, this is elaborate. What in God's name? I have no idea what I'm looking at. All right, loop that loops. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh my God. So, <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh my God. So when you go through the loop, the tele or when you go through the teleporter, it starts spinning the loop like one of those rides from the county fair. Oh my god! Whoa! I <laughs> what? I can't believe I just did that. Uh, I don't know if I could salvage this run. Oh my god! Hold on, we might be able to pull this thing and then blob our way into the loop. Ah, oh, it was pretty close. I tried. Ah, there's a, <laughs> there's a couple of helicopters here. I had to come over here to show you what this, what we're dealing with. Look at how ridiculous this is. It fully loops. It is indeed a loop that does a full 360. This is really crazy to try and explain. You, so it's like a wall ride, but I constantly have to adjust what way I'm turning because the loop is always Jesus because the loop is always facing a different direction what am I even supposed to do go whoa, whoa the helicopter there uh is there a place for me to get off or do I jump this thing somewhere is there there's a there's like a, a bullseye over to my right and there's a helicopter up there there's another helicopter over there there's gotta be some teleporter or something for me to, to jump to somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So that was kind of a mistake, but that showed me where it is. So the arrow, that, ori that original weird arrow pointing to nothing is pointing to the teleporter. What I found that you wanna do is go through the teleporter when this thing is almost straight. So not yet, like right now, I would say. Yeah, and then you land on it while it's nice and straight. And now you can start your wall ride. Get a good amount of time to line up, not get bludgeoned to death, go around the corner. And I think you have to do this wall ride until it eventually lines up with the arrow teleporter. So we'll just kind of roll this for, oh God. We'll kind of roll this for a while, swallow our tongues. That's fine. Blood pressure is 1 million over 2 million. Totally healthy. 
And somewhere in. Oh, hold on, sticks the landing. Oh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Everything's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Everything around me is indeed burning. But I am very, very fireproof, as all Florida men are. Come on, where's the arrow at? It's gotta. It's gotta line up eventually with the arrow. I, okay, there it is, there it is. Okay, I'm starting to think I might have to just launch this thing and try and land onto the arrow because I don't know how else to time this. Oh, what am I saying? There is really no way to time this. You basically just have to get lucky. It's gotta do it eventually. Like it's gonna get, I'm getting so close to that arrow. I can see the shadow of the arrow. It's right here. I just, I need to just get it lined up and get lucky. Come on, if you roll enough dice, eventually you have to roll some sevens. I think that arrow should be coming up. Not yet, but I think in the next pass. Okay, the loop is rising. I think we're up now on the loop. God, everything is so disorienting. I have no idea if I'm on the low part of the loop or the high part. I'm pretty sure this is the, yeah, okay. So this is the low part of the loop. So now it's gonna rise back up. I'm not giving up. I have this wall right down. Even with all of the trajectory changings, I'm kind of getting to the point where I can recover almost anything in this car. Okay, there's the arrow. So the arrow is close by, it's here. Come on, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. I'm lined up perfectly. There it is! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, that was like five minutes of wall riding to hit that arrow, but whatever, it worked. And we have a checkpoint! Oh, that was amazingly satisfying. Gap loop. This is your classic thumbnail style loop. Hold on, let me show you. With the massive jump in the middle and the helicopter taking up the entire... I don't know, kind of transfer area. The helicopter looks like it's right in the middle. I don't know how I'm gonna dodge that, but we're gonna have to dodge the helicopter, land it, and that'll do it. So here we go. We've got a checkpoint. I have no fear. Gap loop, I'm coming for you. Greystone plays with the big jump. Oh, wow, I need to cant that, well, way over to the right. It technically is the left, but I have to turn right. Okay, line it up, start in the middle. Then we're gonna pull this to the right a little bit get sliced by the helicopter props. So the helicopter is indeed right in the middle of where you need to land. So you basically need to get lucky. Like I need to just barely kiss the helicopter props. I only want them to take off some of my scalp. Hey, okay, maybe this is possible. You don't want to end up taking too much damage either. So jump and I needed more off to the right. I got to check something real fast. I need to just uh, cheat check them. Oh! Oh, man, okay. I thought maybe I could just get the ending by jumping to it. There is indeed an invisible wall there, though. All right, come on, baby. Come on, and a little bit to the... Oh, that's perfect. Oh! Oh, oh no! I made it through the helicopter. It just kind of spun me a little bit. All right, helicopter, listen, man. You gotta you gotta help a gray still place out here. Stop trying to remove valuable parts of my anatomy. Hey! Oh, God! I'm getting closer every time. Not the face. Not the face. Oh, oh, oh man. I got I, just a little bit less. Ow, my, oh, my legs are inside of the slats. So that was painful. Are you, I want full, I want like as much curb boosting speed as I could get. Ready? Okay. Bro, oh. Oh! Come on, you blue raspberry piece of garbage. Do the jump. And through the blades. Oh my God, I can land it, yes! And that means that we have a winner! Long cars versus bulges. Everything about the name of this challenge sounds absolutely terrible. We're going with the second to longest. At least if this vehicle, like, you know, totally lets me down, I can wash all of the other vehicles so that they look fantastic before they die. Say hello to natural noob pro legend bulges. Can I get this thing all slicked up so I can just jump over it that way? Kind of go off to the side, eat us our way over, and I am totally stuck right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to think that fire trucks weren't made to climb gigantic rock noob pro legend bulges. What really scares me is the third one of these. <laughs> There is a way around it. Not gonna lie, that uh, 
that was slightly tension inducing. This is a very questionably shaped rock bulge here. Are all these rocks shaped like this on purpose? Did the, did the asset creator for GTA do this and know what he was doing? Oh my God. And know what he was doing? I have no idea how this thing recovered from that fall. I'm not gonna lie, the, uh, the fire truck for having no agility at all is very good at not flipping. Literally one minute later. Trying to get past this bulge is completely impossible. Hey, fire truck, how, uh, how resistant to fire are you? Here we go. Not very resistant. All right, who's next? <laughs> all the cars <laughs> just see that the last vehicle got exploded three times. They're all like, no, please. Old money, baby. Oh, this thing looks like a terrible Paisley shirt. Just vomited all over my paint job. This is some of the worst paint I think I've ever seen on a vehicle. The, uh, wow. <laughs> the, the, uh, the hydraulics on this thing are stacked. All right, we might be able to get past this. Let me see if I can, uh, Grind this thing on the side a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. It, this car's kind of thin though, as opposed to the girthiness of the other head. Oh, 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 yes! How about that? I was gonna say, opposed to the girthiness of some of the other cars, I think I can get past this on the side. I have been given this glorious, no! It was kind of a natural slope. I really thought I could get past that on the first try. All right, come on, baby. Just, just nice and smooth. Nice, no! Nice and easy, stop trying to murder me. You know what? Maybe that's a trap. Maybe this is the side that you have to go on. Oh my God! Oh, oh, wiggle it. Wiggle it hard. Yeah, so smooth. Oh God. No, 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 no! I get the feeling I've been lied to. I'm fine. This is totally okay. Every, oh my God. Everything is going to be okay. I was wrong. All right, we're just gonna send it. I'm gonna try and ramp around this to the. T okay, you know what? Never mind. This is uh, this is exactly what I expected from this paint job. I'll be honest with you. Hold on, you deserve better than this. And now we'll go ahead and bail out. Fantastic. All right, who looks like they can actually climb something? It's you. Run over. That's what we need to be doing. I saw the wastelanders back there too. The wastelander has lost. Something like the last five challenges. So it has gone from the silver bullet. Oh my God. It has gone from the silver bullet of everything to completely letting me down over and over again. Okay, I have an idea. Just trust me on this. You ready? You ready for this? Oh, I thought maybe I could just ramp this thing. Getting past this legitimately is impossible. So I was trying to see if there's any way for me to cheat that area. I couldn't find anything. I need a different car again. That truck letting me down was a real slap in the face. This is called don't care. I don't know if it's because I shouldn't, oh God. I don't know if it's because I shouldn't care or the car shouldn't care. What did, oh my God, I can't believe that stayed on there. What did you put me up against for the very first challenge? This is impossible. All right, how about this secondary bulge here? Can this, can this limo thing get over this? It can, you, woo. Hold on, let's see saw our way over here. This can work. Just need to get them front tires touching the ground. Okay, look at that. There we go. If this thing makes it past, this last bulge. I will, I will eat a cheese noodle. I don't know. I tried to think of something very unhealthy and that was the first thing that came to mind. There has to be some way, somehow. Ah, how in the name of God are you supposed to do this? Just shove your way around it. Oh, thank you, God. Yes. The limo managed it, baby! Bulging bulge. Oh, now we're really running out of descriptors. <laughs> bulging bulge. Oh, it's like a spring bulge. Look at it. Kinda grows randomly. There we go. That's what happens. How long has this bulge been bulging for? Has it been bulging like this for over four hours? The only way you can do this is to do it while it's down. So you have to time it, jump it, and what happens? Ooh. I was gonna say, I don't know how much damage it does if it bulges while you're inside of it. Me trying to tell you anything about this board sounds inappropriate. There's no way for me to describe any of the obstacles without it just sounding like nonstop impropriety. Oh, there goes the hood. All right, we're gonna get some speed. We're gonna time this. I timed it wrong. Okay, come on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no, it's probably still a little late. Ah! 
Well, that makes me very sad, and I lost a door. If this thing can make it past those rock bulges, 100% we're making it past the bulging bulge. How long does it stay down? Like three seconds? One, two, three, about three seconds. All right, we need to time this perfectly. Maybe I can curb boost this too. Okay, go, go. This looks good, this looks good, here we go. Oh God, hold on, I was wrong, that wasn't good. I think I'm thinking about this wrong. I think I could probably skate around. Oh, hey, whoa. Oh my God, it worked. I was gonna say, I think I could just skate around this and have it succeed and it was successful. Oh God, thumbnail bulges. This is why you gotta test these cars, all right? The, the limo has now made it farther than an actual off-road truck. So how about that? I didn't foresee the Hummer mobile over here managing to get through the thumbnail bulges, although I don't know if there's any way at all I can make it over this. Even if I hydraulic this, I don't think I can get enough distance up in the air. The only thing I've been doing is damaging the bumper. I thought maybe I could get a little bit of distance or go up sideways. This thing can't even get any purchase on that thumbnail bulge. Why is this here? I mean, you gotta test it, right? Oh my God. <laughs> now I kinda, I kinda just wanna see. I just, I just need to know. Whoa! <laughs> I love how it's just stacked with gasoline and gun, like, like bullets and stuff in here. It knows that I wanna blow myself up effectively. Come on, squeeze through it. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. I think we might be able to get past the, oh, easy. How about that? <laughs> This thing is now stronger than many of the other contenders that have gone this far. Can it get past Bulging Bulge? It's very thin, so I think I could just cheat this. Maybe that's the idea of this entire challenge, is not legitimately doing any of it. What happens if I shove myself inside of here? It sounds terrible. Get in there. I really believe we could just go around it, yeah. You just go right around it. That's the second challenge done with this thing. Now, the thumbnail bulges he put all the way to the edge of the board. So, I don't know how to cheat this. <laughs> I mean, we can try it. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe the front end will pop up enough. I don't know. This is, that's yeah, pretty much what I thought would happen. It's terrible. <laughs> God, this thing's like a fish out of water. The poor car's like, help me, I can't breathe. All right, you did good. You got past two of the challenges, and that is pretty impressive. That's got a lot of tires. I think more than that, the uh, the license plate doesn't say dead, which is what one of the license plates next to the thing said. It's called grip, so maybe it has the grip to get over the weird thumbnail bulges. It is doing the rocks. Oh my God. It is doing the rocks pretty good. I am pretty impressed so far. How can it do on this one though? Oh, that one's gonna be tough. They asked me how many differentials I wanted and I said yes. You may be asking yourself, great, what in God's name are you doing? Just trust me on this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna climb this entire mountain. We're gonna go through this gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hope you didn't put invisible walls up here. And here we go. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you should have put invisible walls down. <laughs> Ooh. Now I have a way to get all the cars past the uh, <laughs> the new pro legend bulges. All right. Bulging bulge. We're going to try and legit the Ooh. Ow. All right. Again, I think if I time this. Well, that was badly timed. Ooh, oh, my God. I was gonna say, I think if I time this correctly, we can easily get over this. So, oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. I just didn't pop it hard enough. Ah, my hood! My hood is like stuck inside of my wheel well now. It's not great. Oh, whoa! Now there goes some glass. Wasn't using that anyway. Somehow the windshield's still in one piece. And go! Oh God. Ugh. The only thing worse than an impossible challenge is a challenge that constantly RKO's me to death. The front of this car is looking pretty derped. I love how my grill is just levitating in the air in the middle of the bulging bulge. All right, we're gonna try and hit this on the side a little bit. So we're gonna let it go up, let it come down, and then it's gonna go up, come down, please. Yeah, I lost a door, but that is okay. Now it's just easier for me to throw myself out of the car. Now, the thumbnail bulges still seem to be pretty impossible. Oh, hold on. I got my first tire marks on this thing. It is 
very, very difficult to try and climb a bulge of this magnitude. Uh. All right, let's try and ramp our previous failure. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that is definitely the way. And whoop. come on, come on, son, yes. Yeah, the only problem is now I don't have that car anymore and the bulge is much, much higher for the second challenge. <laughs> I can get past the one, but I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Yeah, if I, thought, if I thought the previous thumbnail bulge was bad, this is, this is, there's no way. The only way to get past these is to have a car graveyard in front of all of these different bulges. Because I have a, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with this. Don't judge me. I love jumping over this thing. There we go. Oh, right on the railing. That's an extra three points. I'll tell you. Oh, God. If there's one thing I love, it is getting my spinal column wrapped around the railing. All right, Draga, you doing good? Oh, yeah. Go around the side. That was the easiest I have beaten that challenge. All right, bulging bulge. We're going to roll this. You ready? We're going to roll it. Okay, maybe not. Oh, God. Hold on. I can save this. Everything's fine. I said we're going to lose our hood. Then we're going to do a flip. And then we're going to stick the landing. All right, thumbnail bulges. Can this climb this legit? Oh, well, yes, it can. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Now, we just need to do that again. Come on. Get up the side of this thing. God, it's like being bested by a gigantic elbow macaroni and cheese. No! Hey. Got an Amazon delivery for you. Okay, again, getting over this bulge is very easy. It is this that I am completely unsure of how I want to try and tackle this. Like, oh my God. Like getting laughed at by a block of Velveeta cheese. How am I supposed to get, oh, it's almost a sheer wall. It's not a bulge, it's just a wall. I can't even get the tires to stick to anything. Listen, can we, uh, can we deflate these bulges a little bit somehow? Like an anti-bulge cream I can apply to my car. This is a very precarious position I put myself in. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. I have no idea why this left tire is sweating like this. There we go. That was very weird. Train time. Urgh! Are you feeling up to the challenge? We got the boost on this. This may be a contender with the boost. Oh God. I thought about driving this thing up the side of the mountain in order to cheat that one part of the board. Driving this thing off-road is the worst, it is the worst feeling on the planet. This thing has no off-road capability, despite having six wheels and a roll cage. All right, you may remember this. This won a bulge challenge in the past, so I'm expecting good things. First bulge. Got it, okay. Second bulge, oh, we can just, slowly make its way over it. I don't even need to really to power my way over those bulges. How about this one? This looking good? Looking good. Okay. So far, kind of where I expected it to be. Bulging bulge. There goes the hood. I don't like to keep that on the car anyway. I feel like it detracts from the amount. Ah! What in God's name? What I was trying to say is I feel like it detracts. Oh, God. Oh! from the amount of true violence that these cars must endure. You know what, just send it. Yeah! And the half roll. Onto a full roll, it just took like 30 seconds to do that. All right, thumbnail bulges, go! Well, that was not what I was hoping for. I asked for a bike for Christmas and I got a whole plate of sadness. All right, we are gonna have to use this vehicle to see if we can pop the, uh, oh God, okay. Uh, I think that this type of bulge is not the type of bulge this car has any skill points in. Let me shut that door. Ever since I found that I could do that, I love doing it. Well, you know what? We have two total failures and the Wastelander can redeem itself for failing the last bunch of challenges, maybe, hopefully. Out of the way, no one loves you. Yeah getting murdered. All right, Wastelander, natural bulges. Here we go. Bulge number one, easy. Bulge number two, also pretty easy, catching air, sweet. Bulge number three, probably harder because the Wastelander's so wide. Uh, yeah, this one is gonna be, t oh, hold on a second. I gotta, 
I have an idea. I think the Wastelander can jump this. Out of all the cars, I think this is the one that can probably do it. Well, all right, maybe it can jump it. Uh, how about if I come from this side? Not really. I found a much, much better place to try and do this. You ready for this? Watch this, watch this. And pop it. <laughs> it takes a little doing, but it can definitely pop over the edge of that part of the challenge and clear that, that obstacle. This, look at that. That was the easiest that the bulging bulge has ever been bested. Oh, the thumbnail bulges are getting eaten alive. Look at that right there. Oh, two scoops. Two scoops of bulges for breakfast. That is high in fiber. Uh, hmm. Pop it a little higher. Oh, oh, hold on. As long as I don't lose a ton of traction. If I can get, like, partway up this wall, I think the Wastelander can get enough speed to do this. I have been, I have been struggling on this wall for a while. And then I found that if you get the perfect hydraulic pop, you can get over that easy like first try easy poisonous what is this poisonous mushroom bulge don't touch the mushroom tip when it's fuming what <laughs> what the, what are these instructions it's like vomiting out purple sludge i feel like this mushroom has uh oh now it's not fuming anymore i feel like this mushroom has contracted some sort of disease uh this is like bulgitis. I love how there's a giant rabbit just chilling out on a barrel of radioactive material. Oh, there's a rat in there too. There's a dead bird. You put a lot of effort into this little weird setup, didn't you? All right, how about if I touch the bulge? Anything happen? Ow, ow, I'm getting murdered. Being stabbed by bulging materials. It told me not to touch the mushroom when the mushroom is fuming. I kind of want to know. How, how, close, how close am I allowed to get to the mushroom before it counts? All right, I can pretty much... Get almost right on top of it. Let's uh, let's wait for it. Eat us our way up, and oh god, ow, 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 I'm being mushroomed. Oh, oh, my car's red. That's weird. Oh, my car's on fire. My car has in indeed contracted bulge chondrosis. My car doesn't work anymore. I don't like that mushroom. Okay, so don't touch the mushroom. I touch the mushroom. Bulges that get steeper. You know what? The truck still works, so I'm going to use it as long as I can. It is kind of smoking, and it's very inflamed. It It is uh, infected. My truck is infected <laughs> with, like, a blood-borne bulge past pathogen. I don't know. These aren't that bad. Oh, they're getting, uh, they're getting more sheer. <laughs> my truck is, well, my truck got kind of floppy, and now my truck fell off the challenge. Getting to this point... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey! I didn't get infected for once. How about that? I was gonna say, getting to this point is not that hard in the Wastelander, especially since I've kind of learned this secret to the thumbnail bulges. What is that in front of me? It's like a giant donut chilling out in front of me or something. There's still a lot more challenges to do too. That's what's really scary. Okay. And then, yeah, it's, it's a 90 degree angle, but it's the Wastelander and so there you go. Wow. All right, so now we have mutated hot dog bulge. I don't know if that's what I would call this. Uh, what is going on here? What is this? This is, I don't know if I would call this a hot dog. It's like a giant ringworm. Giant ringworm bulge, go! Oh, oh, uh, hold on. I might be able to climb this. Wow. Okay, the way Slater has started to impress me again. I can't believe it got over that that easy. Can it get out of here though? Like, are you able to just pop over the... Huh! Well, there you go. Wastelander, uh, Wastelander delivers. Bulge rush! <laughs> this is like the mobile game of bulges. Like a death from a thousand bulges or something. Do these pop or do they just... Are they just... No, I guess you just drive on top of them. All right, give me my bulges. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Okay. Is this, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, thank the suspension gods. That's what, oh, wow. Oh, it's timed. I totally didn't know that was timed. Now we're on to sticky lollipop bulge. What? This looks hideous. So is this like a gigantic lollipop? Oh, it's a bunch of slowdown sticks and it's a bulge. All right, hold on. I think we can still, we don't need speed in the wastelander. We just need to be able to get all four tires 
on the bulge. So there has to be an angle that I can do this in and get those tires up off the ground. I need them off the ground. So we're gonna peel out. Oh, that didn't work, hold on. We're gonna truck it, we're gonna curb boost, we're gonna jump it. No. I know the curb boosting doesn't really do very much because it's all just one gigantic slowdown stick, but you don't slow down until you get there. So maybe I can get enough speed to get those back tires off the ground. Uh, see, almost got there and didn't get slowed down. I will slam my head against this, oh my God, against this wall until I figure out a way to do this. There is one, there is a direction, an angle for sure. That'll, there you go. And that's the angle. That's what I'm talking about. You had to ride the bulge right up the middle. And that means that we have a winner. Reverse speed bumps, but every single car is a meme car. I hate my life. Look at this glorious classroom of vehicular self-loathing. As you can tell, the vehicles go from shortest to longest, and I have been told that somewhere within this board is a glorious present that awaits me. I live in fear because of that. Say hello to baby, daughter, son, mama, <laughs> granddad, reverse speed bumps. So it's the entire family. We've just thrown every member of the extended family into the speed bumps. Oh, reverse speed bumps. I'm sorry at this point. I can't even get over the... Oh, you put a tiny reverse speed bump before I get to the reverse speed bumps. Thanks a lot. You weren't kidding when you said every car is a meme car. Hold on. I need to at least try to get over this. Maybe we do have hydraulics. And so that does help me. You may say to yourself, Great. Why are you putting yourself through this agony? Because uh, I could probably jump this mower through the first challenge here. Yeah, we'll just back up. You want to make sure to look backwards. I would hate to run into something at these great speeds. Look at that, right there. First reverse speed bump, totally destroyed by John Deere light over here. Driving John Deere light is just like drinking light beer. You have all the regret and none of the benefit. Here we go. Look at that, second reverse speed bump. I don't remember which one that is. is that grandma, Are we on grandma yet? I don't think we're getting past whatever those two are. Oh, this is a terrible place to be in life. I'm like sitting in the middle of a sad trash compactor that forgot how to kill what was inside of it. The sad part is I can kind of wiggle this thing a little bit in here and it moves a little bit. See? <laughs> it kind of glitches, but that's as far as you get. Oh, okay, this is a terrible idea. I know, I know. Gray, why are you doing this again? I just, just trust me, I just want to see. Hey! <laughs> how about that? That's what I'm talking about. See? You never know, okay? You gotta give it a shot. Now this, this one here, probably no. Oh! Oh! Right up into the point where my occipital part of my brain hit the back part of that solid wall. I kind of thought I was gonna make this. But Gray, what if you curb boost the mower? Trust me, I thought about it. No. <laughs> It doesn't make any difference. A little air mail for you. There you go. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. You get free shipping, by the way. I'm stuck between terrible ideas and terrible ideas. I'm gonna pick the terrible idea. What's the thing run on? Propane and stupidity. I love that the forks start out so low that you literally can't get anywhere. Now the front of the vehicle is so low you can't get anywhere. Come on, hydra. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, compared to what I was driving, this is big speed. Oh my God, okay, big speed. Here we go, hey! Oh no, I think I backed up a little bit too far. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Oh, we're running it. Oh my God, oh, this is happening right now. Boom! I said, if this gets through this challenge, that's a big lip on this thing, oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> The family gets pretty annoying on these speed bumps, these reverse speed bumps, I'm not gonna lie. Listen, I'm having trouble giving up with this thing. I feel like it can do it. Like, look at the amount of hydraulic bounce this thing gets. If I could just get the- There we go, there it is. I was gonna say, if I could just get the rear tires to hit that bump, I was almost sure we could make this. Now, well, on your marks. Get set. And meme car! Ugh. Whoa, whoa, what in God's- Okay, I never tried to breaststroke out of a vehicle before. That was interesting. Anyway. Uh, didn't work. Help Tracy and her friends get to the rubber reverse speed bumps. Is this a, 
Is this an inappropriate joke or are there actually rubber reverse speed? Did you put rubber reverse speed bumps on this board? Like for real? I'm sure everyone here is just going to go practice calisthenics. So get inside of the whatever this is. I said get inside. Get inside, please. What kind of timer did you put? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. So, all right, by get inside, I guess just teleport on in. There you go. Yep. Oh, well, hey! Just enough seating in there for everyone, huh? You guys weren't chewing on so many protein bars. Maybe we could fit like six or eight more people in here. All right. Good. This, this has pretty good top speed. I'm not going to lie. Wow. The, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, big jump. Easy, clear. I had no idea. There are rubber reverse speed bumps. Is this my present? Is my, is my special present the rubber reverse speed bumps? You took like a quarter of a tire. And he turned it into agony for me. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh, I probably should have gotten a little bit more speed before I did this. Hey, y'all good back there? No one's having any kind of- Whoa, whoa, okay, hey, ho! Oh, what? yep, just feel free to exit at any time, everyone. I get paid by the hour. Ho, hey! Sticks to landing! Wow, this is, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> the script just has them constantly teleporting inside the vehicle so they just keep like raining out like fleshy balloons of death. What was that? What was that scream? This was such a good idea to begin with. We're doing it again. Everyone get inside. I'm not doing this without you. I am going to utilize the glitchy propulsion of human flesh in order to get me through the challenges. Watch this. Red. Easy. Green. Big pop. Yellow, tons of, oh my God, okay. I was gonna say tons of space, we just barely made that. Okay, reverse, rubber, speed bumps, big jump. Easy, not too bad. I'm pretty sure this one's just wider. There's so much of a drop here. I feel like I could just drive out of this though. Look at this, look, there you go, right there. The old military mobile over here can simply drive through the agony. Uh, okay, this one's really deep. I don't like my rubber quite so large. All right, Tracy, everyone lean to the back of the bus because we're gonna rock. Literally, we're gonna rock it, see? You rock it and then you come out the front for extra speed and roll. I don't think I got any extra speed there. I think I did absolutely nothing. Hydraulics. Oh no, they're fine. How come some people manage to stay inside? It's kind of amazing that they do that. <laughs> now they, whoa! <laughs> the way they get ejected out of the bus sometimes just cause it to glitch in just in absurd, incredible ways. It's amazing. Look at how strong that guy's abs are. My tire is just chilling out on his stomach. What was that sound again? I just hear the sound of incredible screaming. Tracy, are you okay? Oh, you got to get that side view on these here. Right here, look at this. Look at that right there. Oh, that for your viewing pleasure. All right, we're going to try and keep all of our speed because I have a feeling if I don't, oh my God, if I don't lose any speed, we can clear this. Yeah, rubber speed bumps, baby. Oh no, no, no. Tracy, Tracy, don't do it. I think what happens is she tries to get back in the vehicle. Everyone else teleports, but I think she legitimately tries to walk to the vehicle. There she is. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Dracy and the boys, I do appreciate y'all's dedication, but I think we should try a faster vehicle. Ah! Hmm. Prison bus. Okay. Oh, the the God, the turning on this thing is absolutely glorious. Uh well, I had expected a slightly higher top speed. I could say I was mistaken. We might be able to get through this challenge though. Hey, 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 hey. okay. Now the rubber. Good pop right there, no big deal. Pop it again. That did very well. Third time's a charm. Yeah! All right! Hey! First time in the penitentiary mobile. Come on, that's why I test these things. So now we have futuristic reverse speed bumps. What kind of future? Because the future so far has been very painful for me. Oh. This is a really big reverse speed bump. School. I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to school. This bus only goes to one place. And the answer is Valhalla. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that didn't work. Well, boys, I think that we are indeed stuck down here for all eternity. It's not so much Valhalla. It's more like purgatory. That's right. The P doesn't stand for prison. The P stands for purgatory. A big jump. What is going on? There is like a glitchy something or other that happens when I try and jump this this gap with this bus. Well, 
Uh oh. Oh god. Gee. Not a ton of good choices here. You made this board to get beaten by one of these cars, right? Because <laughs> I'm starting to really doubt. I am pressing X a lot. All right, grindy beast. God, I can't even like maneuver the camera so I can see this whole thing. It's so large. I think because the vehicle's so big, you can't really tell, but the top speed on this thing is not terrible. Uh, we're getting all the way to green. I think that's probably where we're gonna stop though. Oh, I've used this before in a couple of challenges. I know this can do well. As long as I don't commit some sort of proctology exam on the reverse speed bumps due to this thing's gigantic front nose, the top speed and the suspension on this thing are A plus out of the way. Also, the power is pretty good, by the way. Look at this. Look at that right there. Easy. Didn't even have to get any run up, okay? It's so long and all of the tires have so much torque. Look at that. Look at how insane that is. We're doing this. Hold on. <laughs> yes. Even the first futuristic speed bump got owned. Ah, oh, man. Meme vehicles are where it's at. What in God's name is this bowl of sadness? What the? Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? I felt like there was some sort of glitchy weirdness. There is an invisible something on these, on these ones here. These futuristic reverse speed bump things. That's all right, though. The ant. Whoa. Is that like a ramp? It's like a little, little rampy area or something? The answer is always more speed. I think we're screwed. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Ah, the sounds of realization. Was this my gift? My gift is on fire. Remember how I said there was some special present? somewhere. I had expected it to just be, I can't climb up this thing. There we go. I had expected it to just be agony. I think it's a vehicle. All right, here's the plan. We need to get back there to that vehicle and not blow it up because I get the suspicious feeling that there's going to be a challenge that I cannot beat unless I have that car. So we got to get to it. Boom. Look at that right there. Didn't think the US fly vehicle could get this far, did you? I'm gonna die now. Look, this thing is legit, okay? I mean, for real. It has gotten, I might be able to get to where that other vehicle is with this, this stupid meme car. Ah, oh, like the front end, I just needed to get up a little bit higher. We're gonna give this thing another go. One more go. Ah, uh, well, that may have just screwed me. Let's, let's curb boost it. We're gonna curb boost it. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we are we are making mean vehicles do things they have no right doing. So now what we're gonna do is I need to get out because I don't want to blow this car up. I need to make sure that I land directly on the car right like that. I love tasting the fender. Tastes like victory. Winner right there. Says it on the license plate. All right. It's hot pink. The color of the gods. Yeah. Oh. Forgot that. <laughs> I forgot there was a lip there. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, is there any way for me to fix this? All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Real quick, construction inspection. What was that? You guys, you guys, that was the slowest deaths I have ever seen in GTA. If I go back to the spawn point at the beginning of the board, do I get to keep this? Oh, you absolutely do. All right. We're going to roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, sticks to landing. The only thing I lost there was a little bit of the front bumper and some windshield. I will gladly give up my windshield for an opportunity. Oh, my God. For an opportunity to defeat the futuristic. Oh, God. Oh, this is totally controlled, everyone. Now that front bumper is still hanging on there somehow. Are you ready? And beauty. Nice. All right. So what comes after futuristic reverse speed bumps? Reverse speed bump. Wait, reverse speed bumps with giant speed bumps inside of them. Makes sense? No, it doesn't. Well, I say that to myself, but then when I look at them, it kind of does make sense. Oh, wow. That is a really big gap. So obviously what you're supposed to do here is chassis slide off of the middle. Well, you can bump it with your tires. But we're probably going to bottom out the suspension. 
We're going to have to bump off of that middle gigantic speed bump and fly over the enormous reverse thing. That's okay, though, because plane tickets are cheap these days. Ooh, told you. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that door is going to leave. Never mind. The, tor the door totally stayed. Cool. Paint job's looking a little rough, but uh, the car still drives, and I'm still happy. Here we... Oh, my God. No! Well... Not super happy about what I just did there. It's all right. Getting back to that point is not a big deal in this car. Maybe saying to yourself, Gray, I see you're stuck in the pit of demise. Sort of. I think I can probably jump my way out of this. I just got to get this lined up with the right lip and then punch it. Oh, I can make that. Hold on. Are you ready? Oh, almost there. 100% it would have been a lot faster for me to just reload and go. I know, I know. This is something I should, I should have done a while ago. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, big landing. Oh, we're going to have a ton of speed. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that big... Oh, God. Being pulled down into Satan's backyard. What happened here? Did you... Did you make this entire speed bump in the middle out of slowdown circles you did didn't you so oh we got a real problem this speed bump is this well reverse speed bump speed bump double decker sandwich combo is pretty easy this is a problem because i don't know if you can see it from here but even if you get out of this lip there's additional see the slowdown sticks at the end so you get the slowdown of the bump in the middle and then you get the slowdown sticks even if you make it now fortunately after a lifetime of agony i know there is one way to beat this but before we try i need to look at something okay so there's no way to get across this thing just with raw speed it's impossible and then can i even lift the front off of this no because it slows you down and it makes you stick to this thing like glue how about if i turn sideways okay that doesn't work either so the way i was talking about is we're gonna have to bounce it sideways so what i mean by that is if you go to these slowdown sticks and you slam it to the side on a spin you can get distance. You get slowed down, but you still get a lot of forward distance. Keep your speed, big jump, don't stop no matter what you do, curb boost, and then slide it. There we go, that was a good slide. Yeah, look at the distance we can get. We can clear this. Come on, baby. One time, it's a little bit of a guessing game because bouncing like a piece of speed drinking popcorn. Oh, big roll. No, it's not easy, you have no control. That looks clean. Ah, still slid off. Okay. Pull it. Aim it. Man, I keep going to the left. You have no idea how many times I've tried to do this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. That's what you got to do. Ah, uh, took me about 10 tries, but we made it. All right. What else you got for me? Wide, wooded, reverse, speed bump. But you can low down, low down time, press E. <laughs> low down. <laughs> okay. What a mess. What a, I don't even, this sentence has my brains trying to strangle each other to death. Okay, so you have a, uh, I mean, it is what it says on the tin. It is a very wide wooden reverse speed bump. I wanted to see how much the time slow down, slowed down time. Uh, Probably a little bit too much. This is a bit extreme. <laughs> oh, Are you ready? Oh, I did not time that correctly. Ugh. It's okay. I did this ridiculous this once. I could do it again. We're just gonna make sure that we wind it to the right a little bit. Yeah, if you, if you lean your your trajectory to the right. It's fine. Okay, so I need to pop my hydraulics way ahead of time because of how slow time is moving. That's a good pop right there. And it's still not an... I never had so thorough of an opportunity to watch my character eat the windshield as that right there. Now you get to watch as I, as I just lay with my back broken in half on the concrete. All right. Using using E is stupid, so we're just gonna jump it. Ah, for God's sakes, let me have this! Woo! 
Yes! We have a winner! Ow! Well, the reverse speed bumps, and they managed to reverse all my happiness. Anyway, folks, hope you just episode GG. Until next time. Take back to your